Hello my sweet friends, Shurma here. A very warm welcome to my channel and I'm so glad you chose to stop by. It's already festive December time, so let's paint some hollies, candles and pine cones. Materials needed for today's project, they are all listed over here. So we start with the candles and hollies. Now in the beginning I have a white watercolor paper 14 centimeters by 10 centimeters in size. I have blocked an oval space on the watercolor paper with the help of some colors and a stencil which is totally optional. So I created the candles with the help of acrylic crimson red and burnt umber. And now I'm drawing some branches with a liner brush and a mix of greens. After this, I go ahead and paint the holly leaves with a mix of greens and a flat brush. Now holly is a tree which grows very tall and has shiny, spiny, dark evergreen leaves. It has had a traditional connection to Christmas and winter celebrations. Many believe that Holly's ability to stay green throughout the winter meant it had magical properties. Usually doors are adorned with Holly and is indeed a beautiful holiday decoration. Initially, I have taken more of deep green, bamboo green and olive. But the leaves to the left of the image, which you see right now, they have more of white and less of bamboo green. That brings some variation to the leaves. Whenever you need to highlight a certain part of the image, add more of white. Alright, now it's time for the pine cones and the berries. Conifer pine trees are one of the most ancient plant genera on the planet. The pine cones are the fruit of the trees and they contain the seeds of the pine tree. They usually fall to the ground in autumn and are found from say September to December. Pine cones are said to be a symbolic representation of human enlightenment. Isn't that amazing? Once I'm done with the pine cone painting, I move on to create some holiday ornaments. You will notice that I will create a dark area that will represent the shadow and the light area where the light seems to fall on the ornaments. Since they are hanging, they seem to shine in the light. I'm back to the candles again. I'm just trying to fix the cylinder of the candle and I have made the wick with burnt umber and a liner brush. Next I go on and add the flame of the candle with golden yellow acrylic. Here I'm adding some shine to the berries.
now it's time for the molten wax on the candle so i have just dipped my liner brush in acrylic white and crimson red and i'm just doing some stippling on the top portion of the candles and there you go the candle holly berries and pine cone card is ready please connect with me on my social media handles and i would be very glad to answer all your queries i'll be back soon with more interesting painting videos thank you so much for watching stay tuned bye bye